How's it going everyone, this is Tom of RedmanPie.com. As I'm sure many of you are aware, iOS 7 Beta 2 was released yesterday. I'm going to be going through the main changes uh, that were included in the Beta 2 upgrade. Of course, the biggest change is the fact that iOS 7 now supports iPad, uh, and we did a whole video on that, so I'll link that down below in the post on RedmanPie.com. Without further ado though, let's jump into the changes. Okay, so to kick it off, we're going to talk about the Messages application. So if I just open up the Messages app here, uh, you'll see that uh, you get the interface here. This is just the standard Messages interface. But as you can see, if we just send a message, let's going to go just type a load of random characters there, click send. You see we get this swipe up animation from the bottom. It kind of just like goes just like that uh, and swipes up. I'm just sending myself iMessages here. Um, but as you can see, uh, you can then swipe along to the side and you get the timestamps for those uh, all of those messages. You don't get default timestamps anymore, uh, you get them for every single message and you just do that by swiping across. Now let's talk a little bit about the voice memos application. So what we're going to do is open up my stock Apple folder here. I generally keep all of my stock apps in a uh, their separate folder. Scroll along until the voice memos app, which I have to say is probably the worst icon included with iOS 7. However, you can tap on it. This is a new application in iOS 7. Uh, obviously, it was in, not present in beta 1, uh, and it is now present in iOS 7 beta 2. It's pretty much exactly the same as the uh, old Voice Memos app, however that is the kind of big thing that uh, it has been released in iOS 7 Beta 2 uh, and now you can record to your heart's content. Next up let's chat a little bit about Siri, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead into uh, the settings application here, we're going to go down to um, Siri, uh, so down, down to general, just here like that, go to Siri. Uh, and then what we're going to do is uh, go to the voice gen. Now, I've got my language set to uh, English United States. You will need to do this uh, to kind of access this feature. But then we can go on to voice gender and you can change your voice gender between male and female. And she's got kind of a, uh, a more natural sounding voice. So let's just invoke Siri here. Hey, Siri. I'm not 100% sure how you how well you can hear that, uh, but uh, it's pretty it's it's a lot more kind of natural than before. So I like your new voice. Thank you. I think it's too soon to try out for American Idol, but someday, Tom, someday. Oh, isn't that nice? One of the biggest changes in iOS 7 Beta 2 is just how fluid it is. It's an incredibly fluid interface. Uh, for example, we can just scroll down here, we can uh, invoke our control center. It's a lot better uh, from the lag point of view. There's l much less input lag than there was with iOS 7 Beta 1. So we can access, open this folder here and just close that. So it's very, uh, I would say, yeah, just fluid and stable. I'm uh, encountering a lot less bugs than I was with iOS 7 uh, Beta 1. Talking about Siri for a second again, uh, it's a lot more, it's a lot quicker than it was in iOS 7 Beta 1. It was very kind of sluggish and slow, uh, but now it's a lot quicker so we can do things such as, what's the weather like today? It should be nice today. So there you go, it's a lot, it's a lot more quicker, uh, it's a little bit more snappy, which is always a good thing, especially with something like Siri. Display tweets from Mashable. As I said, it's just a lot, it's a lot quicker and that's always a good thing and we'll see a lot of improvements in the general speed stability uh, in further iOS betas. Next up I want to quickly chat about the music app on uh, iOS 7 beta 2. So we're going to open up the music and just play this track by uh, Ed Sheeran. So we're going to press play here and uh, I'm going to mute the audio quickly. So just like that. Uh, I'm going to lock my device now and what you're going to see is you're going to see that the uh, on the lock screen like this, we get uh, all of our lock screen media controls just like this, however you don't have to invoke them, so previously you'd have to double tap on the home button, but they are just there by default now. So that's a very nice feature, very useful, but however they do kind of cover up the uh, the clock on the top, which is a bit weird, uh, maybe they'll just uh, kind of implement in further beaters so that you have a uh, the clock at the top still, I don't know, it's, a bit, it's just a bit odd, uh, an odd choice, but I'm a big fan of the fact that you don't have to invoke them anymore because because there's no real point uh, for that, they should just be there just like on iOS 7 Beta 2. 
As I said, there are so many changes in Beta 2, but most of them are not kind of physical changes which you'll be able to notice. Most of them are things which you're not going to be able to notice, and those are the best things about the Beta upgrades. So as I said, smoothness and stability is a huge one, however there's things like uh, on when you used to open up a previous application, so for example Instagram or Tweetbot or something like that, the status bars would overlap uh, and kind of just bug out and that has been fixed. So these UI changes, UI updates are all here in Beta 2 and are making making iOS 7 a lot more pleasurable experience to use and experience on the beta platform. What I'm just going to do here is open up the photos application. There's one, uh, a few more things I just want to show you. Uh, I'm going to open up my camera roll. I'm going to go on this screenshot uh, and delete this photo just like this. Uh, you can see that now we get a fade out animation just like that. Previously, uh, there was no animation at all and it just looked very, very weird. It was just kind of like, um, I don't know, it, it just looked like it was unfinished and a little bit incomplete. And those are the kind of things you will see updated in the future betas. Finally, I just want to chat a tiny bit about the Reminders application. It's a little bit uh, smoother, the interface is a little bit improved. It's not a huge change, I just thought I would mention it. It's a kind of, it looked a little bit unfinished. As I said uh, before on Beta 1, the Reminders app was something that definitely needed work. Apple have done that, uh, and it definitely looks better this time around. There we have it guys, that pretty much wraps up my roundup of the changes in iOS 7 Beta 2. In a few weeks we should see Beta 3 and uh, of course we will do another video just like this displaying all the changes and additions. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on the new iteration of iOS 7. Have you installed it on your device if you have a developer's account? Uh, what are your opinions? Definitely let me know below in the comments section. If you have enjoyed this video give it a like, subscribe to the Redmond Pie YouTube channel, follow us on all our social networks down below and I will catch you in the next one.